So I'm going to talk about the themes that make organizers either legends or hated by the community. Um, player pressure is how they design, how we design, in what degree the comfort level of the people attending the game or LARP event is regulated or whether or not to manipulate it. Uh, on one end of the scale, we have the hardcore part where everything is real, that you actually construct stuff physically that will challenge your players. And at the other end, there is the safe and playful stuff, which actually make people more comfortable than they usually are. It could be like a trip, a vacation. <clears throat> Uh, yes, uh, and this is playing around with the uh, pyramid of needs. M you might have heard about it. Um, especially the physiological part is what I, I'm going to talk about. Mess with this and everything else might turn very messy. Uh, the thing uh, with the physiological parts of a game is that it's, it's not so much about the story, it's about the things people trust you to do, like providing them food, shelter, a place to sleep, a place to wash themselves. All these things can be tampered with and have been done in different ways. Um, but if people get sick, tired, everything, potentially uh, the volume button of their, uh, button of their emotions will be extremely touchy, which can be interesting, but can also be um, potentially just ruining your story. Uh, yes, uh, of course it's interesting to see a naked guy and it's interesting to be the naked guy if everybody else has clothes, of course. So it matters story-wise also. Um, but sometimes, like if you play around with alcohol or try to tell a story about alcoholism, it's not necessarily the best solution to actually make people drink a lot. Uh, and uh, alcohol, people who have drinking, been drinking a lot of alcohol uh, they will not react the same way as young people drinking alcohol for the first time or people just taking a little bit of alcohol. That's why we simulate stuff. That's why we pretend stuff. Or we give different uh, ways of simulating it in the game. And um, you have a, uh, a classic way of doing it is, is making um, a potion which is extremely strong but not with alcohol, like Tabasco, chili solutions, stuff that make people react when they drink it, but they don't really get drunk. Um, deciding on these um, uh, matters might clean up stuff. Why? Because if I decide to not have alcohol in my game, I, I might uh, avoid making alcohol a focus of any of the stories. If I don't provide it, I, I make sure there are no pubs, there are no... Uh, and I make sure nobody brings it. If I make sure nobody brings a knife or rubber swords, they will not fight with rubber swords. They might fight with their hands, but it will be a different story. Also, if I provide everyone with steel weapons or actual guns, maybe not with, uh, with bullets, but actual guns, stuff like this. It will make uh, people more serious about it. Okay, some people might misunderstand and, and use a steel sword in a different way, but experience shows us that if you put steel swords in a game, even though you train people to fight with them, they will fight less than if they have rubber swords. It will make the focus more serious. Yes, so the minimum failure is about the pretending. 
Uh, it's a lot of uh, different arguments for, uh, for making a playful game, but it might not make uh, the focus very serious. It might make people <coughs> feel it's fun, like providing them with rubber swords, or um, it might be very flirty uh, if they can sort of pretend to massage each other and stuff like that. But it, they might, if, if you introduce too much uh, playful mechanics, people might uh, just uh, use them uh, uh, to play around uh, randomly and be re really attracted to those elements instead of focusing on their characters or the actual story that you're trying to compose. Yes, uh, I have to look at my list now. Yeah, tragedy might turn into comedy. It means that um, people are really serious, blah, 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 and if, if this uh, sex simula simulation rule is that you have a pencil and a, a pencil uh, sharpener and you have to do like this every time you have sex, people might laugh. It might be very weird. So then you might want to remove that game mechanic before you uh, launch the design of your game. This fader actually had, have a very important mid position, middle position, I would say, because a lot of these, uh, the focus of this fader can be uh, avoided. Just don't make it a focus in the game, just make sure it works without making a lot of fuss about it. Uh, it's like, the best thing with just making sure people have a bed, they will not discuss it. Uh, and then they might focus on rhetorics, aesthetics, or politics, or whatever you want them to focus on. Um, doing too much of the special effects hardcore stuff will make people uh, scared or just make them not want to join the game, so if you make a comfortable, normal game, more people will dare to attend your game. And it may be save prep time, preparation time for uh, people involved, both organizers and players. Um, yeah, I can comment on this one, I think. Less off-game drama might make the LARP seem less important. That means that they might not have any so much war stories to tell, which is like these crazy war stories about the game. Uh, but the maximum fader, which is actually why I think it's here, is because the maximum of this fader is like total reality. It's like then it turns into some kind of crazy military academy or a religious sect, which certain theater uh, circles have turned into during the history before LARP came into the scene. And it might even be fascism, straight out fascism. <laughs> but um, there are uh, some uh, very interesting efficient effects of making things real. People learn faster. Physical memory is strong. It's like if you, if you put uh, the hand of your participants into uh, ice water every time they answer wrong, for example, they will be very focused on answering correctly. Um, and the small stories get uh, immense uh, dramatic effects. It's like someone actually stopping... Uh, if, if you have been uh, hungry for a week and then somebody actually stops and gives you a half apple, it will mean much more than if you are at a local restaurant in some other game and some people share a plate of uh, some food. But, um, yeah, reality can affect real life. 
that might be good, it might be bad, but it's at least for real. I put it both on the pro and the con section. It depends very much what kind of reality you're constructing. Because, yeah, it seems like I have a little bit more time, so then I'll just go back to my list. This is what we are talking about. I just want to remind you again about this. I mean, we can, we can make different levels of this. You can have uh, the sexual focus of the game can be massage. It can be simulating sex, but just with the clothes on. It can be that you initiate a sexual moment, but not uh, finish it. Uh, it's so many different levels you can go on, but when you start to closing in on reality, things uh, get uh, very critical, I would say. And I also want to remind people that uh, it's not only about this sex and violence stuff, but also exhaustion can be very hard on players, like hard labor. You can make people work for three hours very manually. For lots of urban kids, that's extremely hard, like just wood cutting or carrying stones around, uh, running for uh, half a day, stuff like that might also uh, heighten the level of uh, the hardcore factor. And also like meditation, trance, dancing, stuff like that, which normally secularized, non-religious people are not used to, might also make immense difference to the different uh, effects. And this, of course, affects the ability for people to be a part of the story. And that's the main thing. Maybe you want to heighten some focus of the player experience of the story by doing these special effects things like putting people into ice cold water or uh, serving them uh, magic mushrooms, which is made of marzipan. It depends. The thing you do with this fader will make people react somehow and take the focus away. So handle with care. But you could easily do this at home. Don't be scared. It's fun also. <laughs> <laughs>